Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I received an email with a question about, hey, I had an error in my vendor center. So basically, they entered bills, realized that the amount that they entered was wrong, and they need to pay extra. How do they fix it? So let's walk through the process. So I actually entered this exactly the way the question asked, which was they had an invoice number 100 for $100, invoice number 125, that's the bill number, for $50 and a bill number 128 for 25. And so those together equal 175, which was the amount of the check. So I'm actually gonna go in and pay the bill because I haven't done that part yet. And we'll say it was paid with a check. All right, so we paid the $175. I'm not gonna worry about the check number. Now, her question is, the error was that the bill number 100 was really should be $250, which is a difference of $150. What does she do? So if I found that out, I would actually go in and fix this back to $250. It's gonna change the dollar amount. It's gonna say, hey, that's linked with other things. So now what it's gonna show is that you owe $150. If we look at the balance detail, drop this down so that all transactions to balance detail, we're gonna see that's the 150. And I would leave it exactly that way. So a lot of times you guys ask me and you could watch this video and you could have 50 different ways of asking me questions on exactly how to do it. But what I'm gonna tell you is no matter what you've done, you need to put into QuickBooks exactly the way it happened and then fix it accordingly. So if you see that you actually entered this bill in for the wrong amount, adjust it to the correct amount, it's gonna show a balance. Then you're gonna go in and you're gonna pay when it's time, the extra $150. Now, if you're on cash basis and it's year end, because her question also had to do with year end, don't stress too much because you're only gonna get what you paid for as an expense. And if you're on cruel basis, it's gonna adjust it for what you actually owed, which is the full expense. So just go in and pay now the difference, the additional amount on your bill. If you guys enjoy this tip, don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end if you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own. The course does come with support so you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course, as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.